Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. And friends. Away we go. Fun, funny, and fast. It's got to be fast. Like, I got to get back to the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> Simone Biles, Katie Ledecky. It's, I, I'm not going to lie. I think, I think it's possible that one of the reasons the Olympics are doing such big business for NBC, they're doing 34, I think, I'm sorry, 31 and a half or 34 and a half million viewers in prime time every night. Which is crazy. Like mm-hmm. the other day, they did 35 million viewers in prime time, but they did 12 and a half million people during the day at like 1.30 in the afternoon watching the, the women's gymnastics team live That's awesome. across the different platforms. But do you think, I, this is what I think rather, shouldn't be a question. I think part of it is people are looking for something to get behind American. Yeah. People are looking for a reason to be united. The vast majority of people want to root for something American. And this gives us a rallying point for so many people to go, hey, you know, we just need something to kind of help us come together. Yeah. That's not uh, politics. I think there's a lot to that. I think yeah. there is a, a lot to that opportunity to sure. say, hey, I'm rooting for America right now. Yeah. And when the, that's why when there's like a big movie, it's really big. Yeah. That everybody can kind of get behind. That's a it's a fun feeling. It's like I think the movie Maverick. Yeah. When it came out, people were like, "That's an all American, America wins, kick butt, pro America movie. Let's do it." And people yeah. get pumped about it because we get hammered by you know everyone going, "America is, the, is has all these problems yeah. and stuff." It's like, okay, you're heard, uh, got it. Now we want to root for America. And got it. <laughs> And we don't care what you think. Yeah. So now we got a chance here to really just root for America in a variety of forms. There's something about sports that really does that. Sure. And the great thing about the Olympics is the way it's divided up. You've got you know, the swimming. I mean, the sorry, the gymnastics has kind of been the focal point of the first week. Gymnastics and swimming. Now it kind of shifts to uh, outdoor track and field. Track and field. And track and field kind of dominates the second week. Track and field and boxing dominate the second week. And so mm-hmm. that's even more stuff that's different something different every night a lot of different things are happening all at one time which makes it fun and it's also fun because you don't have to know anything about any of these sports nothing it's just fun to watch and, and root for i know nothing your, your about person. water polo but i right. watched u.s water polo the other day i even watched caught myself watching a little badminton yeah <laughs> but blown away just yeah, blown incredible. away by how incredible those guys are so yeah we got to get this show over so we can get back to the olympics coming up <laughs> on ace and friends uh, tech d rob told us a secret and it's no longer a secret because I actually called Teddy Rob a bad name when I heard about <laughs> it. It's very disappointing. Coming up next. This is Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Ace and friends. I love Tech D. Rob. But what would cause me to call him a little B word earlier today? (laughs) Rob, tell everybody what you told us off the air today that I just left me flabbergasted. <laughs> uh, we were talking about like reporting people or being like like a snitch essentially. Yeah, Ford ha- has applied for a patent in their vehicles where cameras will drop information to law enforcement about cars that are speeding around their vehicle. Yeah, and I said, well, that's kind of like when I turned in this dude for littering and uh, I reported him for that. Yet he was not littering. He was not. Why were you angry with him? Because he cut me off. So, guy, <laughs> what? A little he was, move. <laughs> he was being a danger to everyone on the road because it could have been an accident. But luckily, I'm such a great driver. I didn't get in. Tr- I didn't hit him. So the guy cuts Rob off on the road. Rob gets his license plate and then reports him for littering. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? What happens when you report someone for littering? Uh, I think it just sends them like a. a a package that has like a trash bag in it 
and uh, says, you know, next time just use this or something, something similar. To so that. what is the point? I just I wanted him to get some some official paperwork from like I wanted him to sweat it for a little bit. <laughs> it comes from the police department or it, something. Or it comes from like some law enforcement place. Yeah, really. How is he sweating the fact that he gets a plastic bag that accuses him of littering? I'm just He's saying, like, like I, littering. I have, I have, a, I have a thing that shows me what mail I'm getting th that day. So maybe he has that too. He looks at it and sees something coming from the official, like a like a sheriff's office or something like that. I want him to sweat it a little bit. I wanted him to, to be worried Man, that, he, that the, he had done something wrong and he's the, about to go to jail or the something. The things that I don't want in my life is something that raises my anxiety about the mail even more by telling me before I get home and check it what's Ooh. in it. Oh, God. Oh, I love that. Oh. That way I know if I have to check it or not. I can't handle it. Opening the mail is just a you know a few moments of dread and doom on my part. Like You take everything out and just start going to like, oh, God, what's going to be in here? Oh, my gosh. It's terrible. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. That's a little B move if I ever heard one. Yeah. Isn't it, Riggins? Uh, that's not the word. I, it's petty. Um, beyond Because he cut you off, meaning he didn't use his turn signal or something? No, like it was dangerous. Like he cut, like he was trying to get between me and the person in front of me because he had to get over to, yeah. to, to make his exit. Yeah. So he could have been right behind me. He could have slowed down just a, just a hair and got behind me. <laughs> that's but not no, something he, a man does. He a, man, had, a man does not do what you did, Rob. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 800-4719-704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Cottle Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. In no way, shape, or form am I endorsing what you are about to hear. It is wild. We found a guy online who's posted a video about how he got a pool at his house. He has a little tip if you want to finance an in-ground pool at your home. A lot of y'all aren't going to agree with this, but this is the truth of it. After we seen the way our finances were dramatically inflated this year, we decided we didn't care no more. We used to keep up with everything. We used to keep up with our credit score, our bank account, make sure everything was real adult and responsible like. But at some point you come to the conclusion that if they don't care about you, why do you care about them? So what we did is we financed this pool around $60,000. And then we decided we ain't paying it. What are you gonna do about it? Do they call us every day? Yeah, I tell them, it's right here, come get it. What are you waiting for? When they call back again, I tell them, I said it's right here, what are you waiting for? Come get it. And somebody points out in, in, in the thing, oh, you've got, a, you've got a house with a pool, you've got everything you need. Yeah, because they're not gonna they're not gonna take the house back if you if you're making as long as you make your house payments, you keep the house. Yeah, can't they turn you over to like a your credit's ruined at right. that point, right? Ruined. Yeah, but it, you don't need like it. They said, "What do you care? What do you, 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 you got need it. as long as you're not gonna move out of that house? You've got a house and a pool. What yeah, do as you long need? as they don't need any need a loan or a new credit card or anything, then yeah. what do they care? Now that I think it's disgusting. That's a terrible thing to do. It's a horrible thing to it's do. Funny. Yeah. I think it's terrible. It makes you laugh. He's so proud of himself. Yeah, he's like, he's so I, proud I, I hacked the, the Matrix. The scam of the year. He was trying to yeah. put us on game, as they say. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Then, and then, side note, Riggin said this reminds him of my dad a little bit. Well, the calls, he's <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Ace's well, dad did that all the time. Well, he just he didn't tell him, hey, come get it. Well, he did one time with the he phone did. company. He told him, he got mad at the phone company <laughs> in his office and took the phones out and told him, come get them. He goes, you know what they did. Now I got it. But I said, my point was, I was like 10. I said, yeah, but then you have to go get phones, right? Yeah, but I got to go back over there and get new phones. I got to pay them. Yeah. But at the time, <laughs> it feels good to yeah, just say, good. come get him. Yeah, his other thing, though, was when they would call, he would tell them, look, I've told you before, when I get it, you'll get it. Yeah. When I get the money, I'll give it to you. I'm sorry you keep having to call me, and I don't have the money, but I don't have the money. So when I get the money, I will give you the money. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> no need for you to keep calling me. They kept calling yeah, they still call. <laughs> they still call. <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends.
Richard Takato, the Richard Takato companies is here and you know, he's all about options. That's what you're always saying. I got options. I got options. No, yeah, options? The options are to, to get the equity of your house at the most cost effective way that's going to save you the most amount of money, paying off credit cards, home improvement, whatever you want to do. And that's one of the reasons you would use the Richard Takato companies instead of a bank because they give you so many options. And it all starts with one free five minute phone call, 704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takato companies. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. Yes, it's the news. But this time, it's all good. This is the good news with Ace and Friends. I'm blown away by this fact. The ice bucket challenge turns 10 this month. Yeah, 2014. It launched in August of 2014. It's raised $220 million over the past decade to find a cure for ALS. The guy that started it, his name was Pete Freights, F-R-A-T-E-S, Freights or Freitas, I'm not sure, but he lost his battle with ALS, sadly, in 2019. Mm. So his family is hoping to relaunch the challenge in full force this money to raise money. They just did a big event at Fenway Park yesterday in Boston, but just wow. thinking about this guy, can you imagine he had no way of knowing, no way of knowing that when he did the first ice bucket challenge or created that, that it was gonna become this thing. Yeah. And nobody even really knows who he is, which is sad. Everybody should know who that guy is. Yeah, That was a social media phenomenon. And kind of kicked off all the other trends that you saw. Yeah. One of my favorites being the milk crate uh, uh, challenge. challenge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where they were climbing over the milk crates and stumbling. Now, that wasn't for a good cause. That was just internet, great internet content. But yeah. it's great when these things turn out you know, to help people. The milk crate challenge was some of the greatest and most devastating crashes you've ever seen. And the, human, the human body not meant to bend ways in which the milk crate challenge forced the human body to bend. If I've got a free afternoon, <laughs> I revisit all those videos. It's, one, it's my favorite uh, challenge. Uh, and a guy on TikTok... Uh, takes photos of regular people on the street and posts them online. Well, what makes this good news is he's going viral after he asked a woman on the Jersey Shore if he could take some pictures of her. Just random people. He walks up to them and says, can I take a few pictures of you? Um, she didn't want to at first because she said, I don't, I don't take good photos. Hmm. Doesn't think she's attractive. The pictures turned out great. And people are talking like, this lady has no idea. Like, hopefully this is a boost to make her feel better hmm. about herself because people love the photos and they're... Uh, People are really getting into seeing it. Like, this turned out great. We want her to feel good about herself. That's great. So it's kind of going viral. Uh, another round of metal worthy rankings coming up next. Coming up. On Sorry, wrong one, Rob. This is Ace and Friends. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends. We are all big fans of the Olympics. Everybody's watching the Olympics, keeping up with the gold, the silver, the bronze, USA, USA, USA. Yes. So all week long, we've been doing what we call metal worthy rankings. We give you a category. We throw out four items from that category, and then you get to rank them. Gold, silver, bronze, and one item gets left out. For example, real quick, favorite drinks, coffee, tea, soda, water, Riggins, gold, tea, silver, coffee, bronze, water. Rob, coffee, tea, soda, water. What gets your gold? Um, soda. Silver. Tea, if I can say sweet tea. Okay. And uh, bronze? Water. Water. Okay, you would leave the coffee out of it. Yeah, I would go, I think I would go probably tea gets my gold, uh, water gets my silver, uh, well, if I'm being honest, soda would get my gold, but I don't drink any soda. Yeah. So I don't know how to do that. The highlight of my day is getting to go home and having my glass of tea for the day. Yeah, I have one glass of tea almost every day. One glass of sweet tea every day. Not sweet tea, unsweet tea. Oh, that's right. You, but you put Lem lemon and a little bit of a little yeah. bit of sweetener in it, but it's like the highlight. It's so good. Okay. <clears throat> Top hairstyles for a lady to wear. The bob, the ponytail, a little pixie cut, or braids. Uh, what is a bob? That's a just short haircut. Kind of a shorter haircut. Uh, I go sassy. ponytail. I think a girl in a ponytail, it's in a hat, hat with the ponytail, oh, is like the cutest good. thing ever. Uh, absolutely, I love that look. So absolutely. ponytail, then 
braids maybe okay yeah, and then uh, and then uh, the pixie cut yeah. uh yeah i'm not i'm not crazy about the pixie cut. you know what else i've learned that i like hmm. i like a girl who can wear a hat backwards yeah that's cute it's a that's a that's a selling point for me yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah like the snapback yeah and a girl who can wear a hat backwards i think is really really cute mm-hmm. girls in hats period i think are really cute yeah 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 totally agree and girls at a baseball game always dress i think that's like the you know, they got the yeah. jersey on or something and jeans and like the Jersey's hat. Jersey's open like with a tank top yeah, on yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. We're right on the edge of sounding pervy. <laughs> I was just yeah. thinking, like, whoa. <laughs> Reel it back Dial in it. a little bit. <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here. And, you know, you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 800-4719, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takata Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. This is Ace and Friends. It's kind of a legend on the show that when Riggins was a child, he told everyone that he was at his parents' wedding (laughs) because he believed it. And it's not true. Riggins is the third of three children in the family. Yeah. Three boys. And his parents had been married long before he was ever born. Yeah. And your mom actually told you, stop telling people that. Yeah. And I didn't understand why, but I get it now. She's like, don't, I don't want people thinking we had kids before we got married. How long had they been married when, when you were born? Uh, a long, like 10 years probably. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about your oldest maybe. brother is how much older than you? Uh, five years. Your oldest brother's five years older than yeah. you? Okay. So, so yeah, between, yeah, between him, five yeah. and 10 years. But so what else did you believe? What did you believe? The most ridiculous thing you believed as a child, we threw this up on our social media. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, Dana said, that you get struck by lightning if you took a bath during a storm? I thought that too. I've heard that, but I don't know. Or even in a shower, you know? Yeah. One of the one of the biggest answers, uh, that turning on the interior light in the car at night was illegal and would yeah. be arrested yeah. if a police officer saw it. My mom, to- I, I, I know my mom told me that as a kid. That's yeah. illegal. You got to turn that off. You can't drive with that light on. Everyone I've ever asked says that that is something their parents told them. So I wonder if like at some point, it, maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe. Because I've never heard anybody say, no, my parents never said that. Uh, Alicia said, if you dug holes in the yard, the devil would drag you down. Now we're talking. (laughs) (laughs) My older older cousin started that tale. You dig holes in the the yard, the devil will drag you down. Oh, my God. I love that one. (laughs) That's wild. Uh, Holland believed that our dog was a robot and had cameras for eyes. (laughs) What? Robot dog. Robo dog. Lynn said, my grandmother told us that red velvet cake was made from fish blood. Good Lord. I think she was trying to keep us from eating it so she could eat the rest for herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that red velvet makes cake sense. is good. <laughs> um, Melanie said, she believed if you popped a pimple, it would get into your bloodstream and you would die. Ooh. Oh, my God. Some of these are kind of They're dark. A little dark. Yeah. Oh, I think I saw somebody else say that blood was blue in your body. But red when it comes out? I don't yeah, when it hits right. oxygen. I've always heard that, too. Uh, and Lee said uh, that a snapping turtle lived under the seat, the driver's seat of my mom's car. And if I put my feet under there, it would snap my toes off. <laughs> Apparently, I kicked the seat one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Ace and Friends. You are about to be witness to a nightmare. A nightmare scenario for one guy. (laughs) He's on a train in the UK. There are two seats in front of him. And in his TikTok that he's posted, a guy's face is shoved through the two seats. And he's clearly intoxicated. Yeah. And he's talking to the guy, asking him, like, you know, where are you going? You know, I'm probably just going to pop to the toilet in a minute, mate. He's been to Leeds. I haven't actually. That's where I've been for the weekend, drinking beers. <laughs> are you on your own, eh? Yeah. Yeah. My friends are up in Leeds. So where are you originally from? Uh, Leeds. <laughs> Leeds. Leeds. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, mate. Uh, did you want maybe? 
I don't know. Grab a beer. It's getting late, mate. It's a Sunday. Not many places are going to be open. What do you do for work? Oh, work at school, mate. Ah, awesome. Do you want to ask me what I do for work? <laughs> what do you do for work, mate? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. You want to ask me what I do for work? Well, no, because I, if I wanted to ask you, I would have asked you yeah. an awkward moment of silence that came after yeah. that. You want to ask me what I do for work? What do you do for work? I don't. I don't. <laughs> you don't say. You want to you... ask? Yeah. yeah. I'm stunned that you don't oh. do anything for work, sir. <laughs> we came here to have a good time. This is Ace and Friends. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meet up with your friends, Ace and Friends. I'm the first person to admit that I'm a little emotional. You know, yeah. part of being Ace from Ace and Friends is the fact that part of my charm is the fact that I'm an emotional person. It's part of your charm? People, yeah. People laugh at me all the time about how emotional I am, and they find it charming. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting weepier as the years go on. I think it's just the stress, man. We're, is that what it is? Just, I think it's just the stress. Like, I'm on the verge of just falling apart. Oh, jeez. Were you like, on the verge of tears when you were talking about Simone Biles? Or he something? was. Dude, he come was. On. Simone Biles, I get, <laughs> I get so pumped for that like, oh man and then you hear that playback and it's got the olympic music under it oh it makes me want to cry every time i hear it I'm see like, i would oh, i would yeah. used to stop and be like ace are you crying but now it happens so regularly <laughs> we would never kind of just have to roll through it when I he gets remember, choked I swear up to God, as i get older it's just it's the combination of the stress and stuff it just like, wear me out it's kind of wild oh, but yeah God. i can't watch any of those olympic things like getting like did you see that video the guy breaking michael phelps's I think he's trying to break Michael Phelps' record, the Frenchman, who is yeah. and, and Mike Tirico and Michael Phelps. Mike Tirico's the the host for NBC of he's all the so Olympics. Good, dude. He's so good, Oh, he's phenomenal. And Phelps is so excited. He's like down, like he gets crouched down. He's like, oh, come on, man, mm-hmm. come on. Like that's the way I feel watching the Olympics at home. Like just everything I see, like just anything with an American in it, I'm just pumped for them. Like let's yeah. go. There was that crazy moment. You see it right before one of the the swim meets the other day. Michael Phelps is like poolside, and all the swimmers are there, and he just reaches down and puts his hand in the water and pulls it back up and like rubs his hands. You're like, I don't know what you're doing right there, but that feels like good good juju for yeah, it's like, for Americans. But it's got to be just like that's hey, I gotta, I got, I got feel it. I'm standing by the pool, man. This is all I know. I gotta feel it. Yeah, he like he comes still, up and just rubs his hands in it. Michael Phelps Ooh. is still in phenomenal shape. Like I, he looks like he could go today. Not crazy about the haircut. It's time. I, I, I'm i not loving the haircut. Well, I there. was just talking about how physically he looks like he's in great shape. We got that man bun shaved. Ha- I'm not I'm not feeling it, but I like you, Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that until just now. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. His, his, his are too big for that. But I can't help yeah. it. Get, I get so excited. Rob, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you were just talking about the size of somebody's head. <laughs> his ears. You have the most gargantuan head of anybody yeah, we know. But my ears are. But my- Proportional. Right, and he's got he's got small head, big ears. <laughs> Good point. Okay, <laughs> you're okay. Then never mind. This is Ace and Friends. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer, make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call. Seven zero four. 800-4719-704-800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takata Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Ace and Friends. So now I have to know, since we talked about it a minute ago, I do get a little emotional watching the Olympics. I did get emotional l- listening to, we were playing a clip of Simone Biles earlier. And that announcer, what a great line he came up with. What was it? Um, well, it was a great line. Something a, in Japan. Yeah, V, something in victorious in, in, yeah, yeah. in Paris, whatever. It's a great line. But I do get emotional about that. So y'all don't get, Riggins, you yeah, don't yeah. get emotional watching the, like the Americans on the Olympics that every Sure, day. sure I do. 
here's the other thing I think about too. I think about this like with uh, the NFL draft or something. You have spent your entire life, their whole lives, they have trained for this moment. Yeah. And then in that moment to perform at your absolute very best, what could be better? I mean, just being there has got to be pretty incredible. I watched a clip yesterday, the four fastest humans to have ever walked the earth were in one race at the Olympics a few a couple of years ago. Usain Bolt was one of them, mm-hmm. and he just smokes them. But all four of these guys had had run faster than the previous world record. Just think about that. They're the four fastest human beings to have ever walked planet Earth, and they are side by side by side by side in mm-hmm. a race. It's incredible. And it was wild. And every one of them ran. Like, one of those guys didn't even make it on the medal stand. It wasn't from this Olympics. But think about it. One of those guys is exceptional and he just has to stand and watch yeah that's crazy no the craziest part was usain bolt won by like four or five steps over everybody really not, yeah he, he broke the world record again like, mm-hmm. i don't know how you keep doing that like yeah. he, he's just, he's the fastest man ever ever right like he's the, usain bolt is the fastest man to ever walk on planet okay. earth that's what i thought yeah period it's crazy that is an insane thing to stop and think about mm-hmm. who's going to tell me something at that point mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Are you the fastest man on the earth? No. He's the fastest man. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go around these cones right here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm the fastest man to ever walk on planet earth. No other human has gone as fast as I have. Yeah. So you take your cones and you, you right. know what to do I would with them. Be, boy, y'all are lucky. I would be hard pressed <laughs> to be dealt with it. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. would be a bad <laughs> You thought you were a lot faster than you were, though. Remember we did oh, that challenge, the forty yard, that. and you said you could break uh, five seconds. I was like, I don't think you can break ten. And I didn't say. I thought I was say I break six. I barely broke ten. You barely. <laughs> I don't think you did break ten. <laughs> oh, but it wasn't. It wasn't even. Remember, I it was. Str- I, all right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna stretch. Okay. Maybe we'll, do, maybe we'll do that again in the next few weeks or okay. so. I'll redeem myself. Yeah, yeah. This is Ace and Friends. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is Ace and Friends. You're about to hear nothing but pure sweetness. Sweet! There's sweet. a woman who just <laughs> shares a quick story. I, is Little Sweet gone, Dr. I, Pepper? I, I haven't know. seen a new one in a while. I love Little Sweet. Little Sweet was great. I thought Just, Little Sweet was fantastic. Justin Guarini, right? Yeah, yeah. Justin Guarini from American Idol. They had a thing going. Hmm. Anyway, this woman shares a quick story about giving her neighbor their old lawnmower. And then as she phrases it, she realizes later that she's just uh, too emotional for this world. We gave our elderly neighbors our old lawnmower a few weeks ago. And they were so excited about it because they've never had a lawnmower that wasn't straight out of the, like the 1950s. And something I'm gonna think about for the rest of my life is sweet Carolyn coming over and telling me how she and her husband rode their bikes to the library so that they could have the librarian help them download the manual for the lawnmower from the internet so that he could fix it up. And she, oh. she finishes with her eyes closed like, <laughs> And you can tell that she had more to say, but she had to take a pause there yeah. because like, oh, I'm about to cry. I mean, that's that wholesome. I mean, it's beyond, yeah. They yeah. ride their bicycles to the library so the librarian can help them download the manual from the internet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's the sweetest thing you've ever heard. Nothing else needs to be said. There's Ugh. no way. There is no way you don't hear that at the, like, that's one of the sweetest things oh ever. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's great. There was a woman that also had a video. She moved into the neighborhood with her family, and her elderly neighbor came over with like a fruit cake or something. And then she filmed him walking, you know, slowly across the road, and she was sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is so sweet. Yeah, we need more sweet things yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. This is Ace and Friends. Hey, we're here once again with our friend Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies, and there are a lot of people in credit card debt right now. I mean, the credit card debt is hot. Now, Richard is the guy that could possibly be relieving you of that credit card heat. That's right. Let's cool you off for summer. Ooh. No payments till fall <laughs> and get rid of all the credit card debt. Ace, we paid off $67,000 with the extra equity that everybody is gaining in this market 
literally she is saving $1,326 a month. If you have credit card debt, get rid of it. Take the pressure off. This is a member of the radio family who is saving $1,326 a month, all using the equity within her home, all because she called 704-800-4719 and let Richard show her how it works. Or you can also go to homewithrichard.com. But again, you've got the money right there. Let the Richard Tocato companies help you. 704-800-4719, the Richard Tocato companies. Richard Tocato companies, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Meet up with your friends, Ace and Friends. Earlier on the show, we were talking about Michael Phelps and the Olympics. Michael Phelps, the legendary Olympic record holder for most medals. I think he's had 28 medals. Yeah, I think so. Almost all of them are gold. That's crazy. But I just saw this. Michael Phelps does not just hold a ton of swimming world records. By the way, gather around. We're going to run through some things you might find interesting really quickly. Michael Phelps also had a golf record as well. Michael Phelps, for a long time, held the world record for the longest televised golf putt. He made a 159-foot putt for Eagle on live TV during a celebrity tournament in 2012. That record stood for 10 years until uh, Ian Poulter hit a 162 foot putt mm. uh in 2022 i'll have to go look that up i don't even remember that yeah I, uh, it's pretty unbelievable to watch yeah it's very unbelievable 10 years he held that record uh the guy who invented velcro got the idea when he was walking his dog in the woods and saw how burrs were clinging to the dog's fur i think a lot of people may have known something <laughs> about that uh boxers and their managers didn't originally throw the towel into the ring to give up in the 18th and 19th centuries, they had to throw a sponge into the ring. They the sponge and throw water <laughs> yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what they do. They they dip the sponge in water and they fling water on the person in the corner yeah. during the during the fight. So they always had a sponge around. In the champ, they threw in the towel. It's the saddest movie ever. Yeah, they throw in the towel in Rocky too. In one of the Rocky movies. <laughs> um, and I didn't know this. The Chuck in Chuck Norris isn't short for Charles. What? It's short for Carlos. Carlos Norris? Carlos. You're telling me Chuck Norris's Norris. name is Carlos, Carlos? Yeah. Norris? <laughs> I don't know how to continue with this show at this point. I, well, I am you'll, shook. You'll, you'll never look at Chuck Norris the same way again, Carlos. will you? Carlos. This is Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate, and years of research. We've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. You're about to meet a lady whose life has been ruined. Ruined by financial expert Dave Ramsey. <laughs> She's talking to her her daughter here. Daddy agreed to a pool, and then he started listening to Dave Ramsey, and no pool now. We can, oh, we can't do that. <laughs> Dave Ramsey said we need to do this. Dave Ramsey said we need to do that. Like Dave Ramsey, I hate you. <laughs> You're literally ruining my life. You can listen to old Dave today. Dave Ramsey tell us we don't need to be buying lunch. <laughs> they're sitting there eating lunch with Dave Ramsey tell us we don't need to be buying lunch she's on to something because people that love Dave Ramsey he's like the financial guru guy but if people that listen to him are kind of obnoxious when they start to share the things that they've learned from Dave Ramsey yeah. for some reason I don't know why people either love Dave Ramsey or they hate Dave Ramsey yeah like who the hell is he he's got all the money why is he telling us what not to do and he's kind of brutal and yeah, yeah i don't know i know a lady who's a financial expert and her husband is very much from the dave ramsey school of we buy stuff and we own stuff and we pay for it and she is very much in the well wait there's a smarter way to use your money sometimes sometimes it's smarter to borrow money and save your money like you know in the interest and he's like mm-hmm. I, I don't care about any of that 
Oh, he, yeah, he didn't I want mean, to hear it. Like he doesn't want to hear it. I, no, we 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 were going to do this. We're just going to buy it outright. She's like, no, that's not the smart way to use our money. Uh, uh-uh, uh, we buy it and we own it. We're done with it. That's <laughs> tough to be in a relationship where each of you have very different ideas about how to use your money. Yeah, I think. Because she's pretty successful that she normally wins out. Does she? Yeah. Good she's for like, her. No, this is, there's a better way to do this. Let me show you why. And he's smart enough to go, okay, I'll follow along with that. I'll defer to you. Hey, yeah, that's cool. But anything that belongs to him is, bought, is paid for outright. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly paid for. Follow, follow Ace and Friends on all social media platforms at Ace Cannon Media. More Ace and Friends coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. Do you think you are weird? Yes. I do not. No, I don't. You don't think, think you're weird, Rick? No. You think you're weird, Rob? I'm pretty sure. I'm there was a big, you know, weird has become a, a big political word uh, yeah. now. But they just did a survey. They pulled 3,500 Americans. And said, how weird are you? Um, 48% of people said they're weird. That includes 13% who said they're very weird. <laughs> very I've weird. I've always maintained that I don't think, and I mentioned this earlier on the show, I don't think you are as weird as you think you are. Most yeah. people aren't. Like, if you really got down into what people do, what they're into, everybody's weird. But you're not as weird as you think. Most people, I don't. Yeah, think. you might do weird things, or some things weird, yeah. but that doesn't make you weird. But I've I've always thought you would be surprised. I'm willing to bet you'd be surprised at what most people, um, are into or something that they do. You'd be like, "Oh, that's I didn't. I would never have thought you would do that." That kind like of what? I mean, like what? Uh, like sexual stuff kind I of think thing. That could be one of the things. Things they think about. Like I'm sure there are some very kind people that, that have like some burning anger in them. You would never think that person's angry about anything. Yeah. You know, whatever. Do you think you're weird? Uh, not really. Yeah. Not really. Do you think you're? What makes you think you're weird, Rob? I mean, I'm pretty, I'm kind of the opposite of most people in, mo- in a lot of things. Like <clears throat> a lot of people think that having kids is a good idea, and I just don't think that is. So. Um, yeah, I think you're weird though, from the standpoint of like. The vast majority of people enjoy being outside, that type of stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Rob really doesn't. He genuinely doesn't. He goes home and closes the blinds. And Rob doesn't like fresh air. And Rob doesn't like sunlight in the house. <laughs> like fresh air. He doesn't. <laughs> That's, yeah. he, he doesn't like fresh, fresh air. He doesn't air. go sit outside just to get some fresh, fresh air. He doesn't go like, I need to walk outside and just feel the sun on my face. And he just, yeah. that's not him. My fresh air comes from an AC unit. <laughs> Yeah, I do think that makes you weird, Rob. I'm not. I'm, no, I. There's that, plenty of other things, but the the you know that's the only thing that came to mind. Was he doesn't like bacon. I mean, that's weird. That's weird. That may be the most weird thing. Weird. Of all. Who doesn't <laughs> like bacon? <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Meet up with your friends. Love it. Ace and friends. We're talking about people being weird. And that like half the people think they're weird. Rob believes he's weird. We, we agree. We think Rob's a little bit weird. But Rob, who do you think is more weird? Me or Riggins? Hmm. As 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 the the quote unquote weird person on the show, <laughs> who do you think is weird, more weird, me or Riggins, and why? Um, I'd say it's really close, but I would say uh, you, Ace, because you know, in your at fifty, you had another kid. Um, my lifestyle is weird. Your yeah. lifestyle is kind of yeah. odd. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Just to be, you know, fifty six and have a wife who's thirty two, and we've got a thirteen month old. 
I've got a twenty, about to be twenty-two year old son and a thirteen-month-old son. You playing yeah. drums in your garage? Yeah. I don't think that's that weird. I think I a lot of guys my age that play musical instruments probably sit in their garage and play or something. You dress like Reverend Run. <laughs> <laughs> I have been wearing an Adidas <laughs> zip up hoodie today. Now I said I'm Reverend Run. <laughs> Whose house runs out? Oh, I'm a huge fan though of Reverend Run. Ooh, I would love to meet boy. Reverend Run one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. What other weird things are there about me, Reagan? Since you're, you, you two seem to be on such a roll, um, I see oh the, lifestyle, the lifestyle is probably one of the. It's it's got to be weird. It has to be weird. Just how. Unbelievably sexy, I must be. <laughs> yeah, no, to that have this wife that I have. I, oh, well, I, that is true. There's also like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Weird. I don't Riggins know. has never thought, not once have you thought, it makes sense that, that she would be attracted to No, this. it makes me think, like, what is wrong with you to her? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what happened to you? No, I'm just kidding. What happened to you? No, you have a lot you're of good not, quality. You're not, you're not kidding. No, it's not even it's the a relationship. Le- it's a fair, legit question. Um, I think most people would agree that my wife is very attractive. Yeah. Uh, and much young. Obviously, she's much younger than me. And I think most people would see us together and wonder, what in the, like, what is that about? Yeah, what's going on That's there? That's weird. Like the old six foot four redheaded guy and the 32 year old who most people think is extremely attractive. Yeah. You also have the wardrobe of someone much younger, too. Mm hmm. You got really bright shoes from time to time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that in a good way or a bad way, Rob? You take it how you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ace and Friends. Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here, and you know, he's all about options. That's what you're always saying. I got options. I got options. What no, are the yeah, options? The options are to, to get the equity out of your house at the most cost effective way that's going to save you the most amount of money, paying off credit cards, home improvement, whatever you want to do. And that's one of the reasons you would use the Richard Takato Companies instead of a bank, because they give you so many options. And it all starts with one free five minute phone call, 704 800 4719, or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takato Companies equal housing opportunity in MLS number 38652. Ace and Friends. I have always maintained that the reason we have the internet and social media should be for two very simple reasons. Information, like real information, and entertainment. If you could take all that other stuff out of it, it'd be great. Entertainment, though, can come in a variety of ways. Like when people ask really dumb questions online to have fun with. I love this. It was on Reddit. What completely useless superpower would you like to have? Hmm. Now, the key words there being completely useless. Like one person said, to be able to cut my hands and make tiny little thunder and lightning storms that only I can see. Oh, now I got to rethink mine because that is not that weird. I mean, that is bizarre. Yeah. My first thought was a completely useless superpower I would like to have to be able to take anything out of the the oven or the microwave and never burn my hands. Ooh. I I was doing a little thing of spaghetti for Dax and then I went to take the top off of it and I thought I had actually set my right hand on fire. Oh my god. I got I got that the the little that plastic wrap plat- caught on my hand and Ooh. it was and I was trying to get it off but over the heat of the you know that <laughs> That thing must be 3,000 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> you gave it to your baby. <laughs> I right. love it. Um, somebody said, the power to know exactly where any fly in the room is headed next. Oh, that's a good one. You could kill it that Heck way. Heck yeah. Uh, being able to transform your socks into any color in the blink of an eye. Completely useless superpower that yeah. person would like to have. <laughs> Does one come to mind? I, you know what I wish I didn't have to do every day? That I, If I could like snap my fingers... And have the bed be unmade, ready for me to get in, because I have so many pillows. It's like a 20-minute <laughs> process to get the pillows organized. But I make my bed every morning. That would be a great superpower, though, to be able to make or unmake. Make or unmake, right. Yeah. Walk in the bam. room, bam, bed's made. Oh. Becoming an adult is like with the bed thing. It's like make it. I, my whole life revolves around making the bed. Un, I feel like 90% of my day is making or unmaking the bed. <laughs> you have eight pillows on your bed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's bizarre, I know. And the, but, they're not technically decorative because you use no, them. No, none all. of them are decorative. None of them are decorative. Yeah. 
I, ca- I can't. I don't have any more space for decorative pillows. <laughs> <laughs> the real pillows are taken up on the whole. Yeah. This is Ace and Friends. Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.